you would, you'd be turning to the first chapter of Hebrews. we are trying to study a little bit there the last few days. And uh, Paul, I, I'm sure, wrote this, but I, anyway, uh, regardless, uh, whoever the author is, whoever wrote it, uh, he, was, he has a comparison here of of the Lord Jesus Christ and Moses, and uh, uh, the writer here brings a lot of this out, comparing the two, and there's there's really no comparison, but the thing of it is, so many of the Jews uh, was accepting Moses' law and all of this, and so he's, he's showing, I think, this is to the Jew as much as it is to the Gentile. I know it is because uh, there's a comparison here, and uh, so we'll we'll read some and maybe make a few comments on the on the uh, lesson. But in first verse, verse one of chapter uh, chapter one in uh, Hebrews, it says, "God, who has sun dried or many times and in divers manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, <clears throat> hath in the last days spoken unto us by His Son." whom he had appointed heir of all things. Now, the writer here is, is first getting off to the point that, listen, back in the in the time of Moses and all, they had uh, uh, miracles happening. They had uh, 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 visions and all of these things. And uh, that was sort of their leader. But now we have a special leader, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And he is the one that uh, had this word pinned down and this is what we should go by this is what we need to go by and the visions and the things that people have and see uh, you know we have to be very careful with these things and because there's so many false religions out here today in right. time that is claiming that they've seen they have these visions of this and that and, and they, they're leading a lot of people astray but he says has in the last days spoken to us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. Of course, we know uh, if we look back over in the, in the book of Genesis, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. But who being, in verse three, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he when he had by himself purged our sins, sit down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Amen. And this morning we never should forget or doubt that the Lord Jesus Christ is the one that died for our sins. He Amen. Is the one, he is the one that is sitting on the right hand of the Father making intercession for us. And, you know, as, as, as I was thinking and studying this this morning, uh, last night, the uh, the Jesus the Father the, the Savior takes our message to God. Mm -hmm. We have the presence of the Holy Spirit within us. God sends that message to us through the Holy Spirit that we need to understand and we need to hear. And so, a lot of times, you know, we we have these these things happen to us and and. Uh, we can mind your feel the voice of someone talking to us. Listen, I believe this morning that the Holy Spirit speaks to our souls. Mm -hmm. I believe that God directs them because when we ask for for prayers to be answered in all of these things and 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 God knows about it. Amen. And he, he assures us, hey, uh, all is well. Now I'm, you may not get what you want right now, but the thing of it is you're hearing from me and listen it's just like god's word is speaking to our souls this morning we need to we need to take pay close attention to what uh the holy spirit speaks to our soul because he is our comforter mm -hmm. and jesus said that he would send him and he has sent him into the world and he's here and so we need to pay close attention to it but now in verse four being made so much better than the angel, as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. And so we we see as the writer is going on, he is he is 
exalting the name of Jesus Christ through uh, comparing him with angels. And we this morning know that angels are creative beings and they're, uh, a lot of people says, oh, I've seen this angel and he spoke to me or I've seen this angel. But listen, what we need to do and what they need to do is to get into God's word and let God's word speak to them concerning what he would have us to hear. And so in uh, the the son is superior to angels in this in this lesson. Amen. Verses. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And this is what Jesus and God have in common. And God said, He is my son, and he never said this to the angels, but he he created them and, and they were capable of sinning. Whereas Jesus Christ was not capable of sinning. Amen. He never sinned. So he says here for unto which of the angels, and he asked the question, uh, said at any time, Thou art my son, and uh, no not, none nothing else in the Bible points to anything else except Jesus Christ and and the Son of God in eternity past and these things that Jesus came down to earth to do and complete were discussed with him them, them too in eternity and so when when we think about the son of god we think of him so close as to god there it's and god called him his son and so we see here that he says here in in the in the verse 5 he says thou art my son this day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, and let all the angels of God worship him. And so Amen. this is what God has offered to his son, all, all which the angels, all the beings that are creative in heaven and all will worship him. And there is none that uh, that that worships him or none that don't worship him. There, There's no way of, 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 of salvation because, listen, there has got to be an understanding of God's love towards us through his son, Jesus Christ. And through that, we can obtain mercy and we can we can be saved and escape a, a devil's hell. And so again, in verse 6, again, when he bringeth in the first begotten to the world, he said, and let all the angels and, and, and of God worship him. And the angels, he saith, who maketh his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. But unto the Son, he saith, thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. Sepulchre of righteousness is the sepulchre of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. And so, Amen. this uh, uh, this fellow, uh, I think, it, if I can look it up right quick, it means uh, uh, companions. And so, here he's saying. Above all, above all, I have anointed you, and you're above all. And so the writer is building up to this and, 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 and wanting us to see and understand how great the Lord Jesus Christ is. He Amen. is our He is our He is our only Savior. He is the only one that was ever uh uh sinless he's the only one that could come and die for our sins he's the only one that god would choose there was no other that god could choose than than his son so verse 10 of the first chapter and thou lord in the beginning hath laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the work of thine hands. Amen. So well, again, we see here in uh, corresponding with, with the Genesis in creation of the earth and of, the, of all things. He says, the and the heavens are the, the work of thine hands. So he, he's talking about, I'm sure, the first and second uh, and third heaven. 
And I know he is because he said, let there be light. And there was light. He said, let there be uh, day from night and all of these things. And so uh, the sun to rule the day and the moon to rule the night. So he's talking about the heavens that he created. And they shall perish. But, in verse 11, they shall perish, but thou remainest, and they all shall wax old as doth a, a garment. Amen. And as a vesture shall thou fold them up, and they shall be changed, but thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. Amen. And so very encouraging this morning that we, as God's people, know Jesus Christ and the forgiveness of sin and know him as our savior know him as our brother and know him that he is forever and forever and forever and he will never he will never leave us nor forsake us he's promised us that and so what a comfort this morning it should be to Amen. you and to me and to everybody even that's over the world is turn in a turmoil and all these things we can look back and say well I'm depending, I'm depending upon this promise that Amen. God has made and Jesus has made confirming the promise that he never leave us, never forsake us. And people, there's none no greater. There's none no greater. God's word says that there's none no greater than Jesus Christ. Amen. And that we can depend on him for this, this special favor. So uh, <clears throat> it's wonderful and 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 so many so many so many times we don't we don't listen to it so many times we don't we just do not get in there with it and 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 accept it really and and we well yeah i understand i understand but listen we we're not really digging in there and getting that because listen we'd be a greater people we'd have a greater power we have a greater prayer life and we would have more enjoyment uh, in going to services there's so many people today that are going to services and they are not enjoying them they, right they hear something and yeah I heard that yeah I heard that and they go out and they, they got the world on their mind so listen we need to we need to really uh, ask the Lord to help us with these things because uh, that's what should keep us going. That does keep us a Christian going. So he said here uh, in verse uh, 13, he says, But to which of the angels said he at any time, Sit on my right hand until I make thine enemy thy footstool? Uh, are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them? who shall be heirs of salvation. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the angels, their angels have got their place. But listen, he never chose one. He never chose one to say, sit here on my right hand side. Uh, because listen, there was none of them that could could qualify like Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. It, it's, just that, it's just that plain. And uh, people think about angels and all this and all that and how pure and all they are. Well, listen, they're not that pure. That's right. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, God, God didn't use them. He couldn't use them for what, what the greatest thing was that ever existed, and that is to make a, 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 a person that could be sinless and be a sacrifice to this, for this world and for the souls of many, many people. And so the, the angels are great, but not like that. So verse Verse 1 of, of, of chapter 2, and I'm reading quite a bit, but listen, this is very, to me, it's very important that we, we should understand this and those that are listening elsewhere, that they might get a grasp on this and, 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 and have a desire to open their Bibles and to read uh, and to follow with us and to study these things. So Amen. verse 1 of 2, Therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard Lest at any time we should let them slip, right? And 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 do hear this slip. Uh, do not neglect God's message uh, when we when we, He's talking about lest any time we should let them slip. And and, and anything that uh, slips, uh, we want to think about something slipping out of our hand or slipping out of our life or listen to us. 
uh, slipping away from serving the Lord or backsliding on us, we should, right here he says here, he says, therefore we ought to give more earnest heed to the things which we have heard. And this is God's word that where he's talking about what you heard Brother Larry, Brother Kitty, Brother uh, uh, others <coughs> preach about the word that we have heard and the word that we have read ourselves, the word that we have studied. He says, don't let that slip. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, sometimes you go in there and want to study the word and uh, you find yourself reading and uh, uh, all of a sudden you wind up thinking, what am I going to eat tomorrow? Or what am I going to, what am I going to do this? Or what am I going to do that? Listen, these things need time and they need to be really uh, paid close attention to because he says verse 2 for if the word spoken by angels was steadfast and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation Amen. which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. Amen. So we as God's people don't need to think about other things when we're trying to study God's word. We need to get to our, we need to have our own little private place. And when we read, we need to read. And when we have our prayer, we need to have our prayer and listen and meditate upon on God's love and on his word. God, in verse four, God also bearing them witness both with signs and wonders and with divers miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. Amen. For unto the angels has he not put in subjection the world to come whereof we speak. But one in a certain place testifies saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him or the son of man that thou visiteth him. Thou madest him a little lower than the angels, talking about me and you, Amen. mankind. Thou madest him a little lower than the angels. Thou crownest him with glory and honor and did and this set him over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. Amen. Now, for in, let me read, read this. For in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. Amen. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death. And so. We see that Jesus was above the angels and he was made a little lower uh, by the fact that he had to come to this world and because that he had to have all the sins of the world poured upon his back as he hung there on the cross of Calvary and suffered for our sins that we might be saved. And so he, this is what he's talking about, made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man. And every, every man means every man. And, and so this morning, this is some of the things that, that Jesus did that was so great and no, nobody else could do it. And uh, you know, if, and, and I said this this morning about the writer comparing Jesus with Moses. And he, he goes on over in the third chapter saying about Moses and him coming out of, the, out of Egypt and leading them and how that for 40 years he walked with them and he took their, the, their promises and all that and, and the burdens he had with them. And they sinned, they kept sinning, and God said they will not get to go into the promised land. Amen. But still, all in all, look at Moses again. If in, in comparison, Moses got upset. Moses struck the rock twice, and God said, "Moses, you can't go over neither because of that." And so, but we have a Savior this morning 
that never made that first error. Amen. He never made anything, and he died, gave his life, and he's right on the right hand of the Father this morning. Amen. And he's making intercession for you and for me. And listen to people, you should not, never, never forget to thank the Lord Jesus Christ and God for, for, for Jesus and for the love that he has and for the Holy Spirit that comes and, 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 and speaks to our souls. And here, uh, I want to read a little bit more here in verse 10 of 2. For it became him for whom, for whom all things and by whom all things, in bringing many sons unto glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. Mm -hmm. This is why that Jesus suffered so much and, and, and for you and for me. For both he that sanctified and they who are sac sanctified are all of one. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brother. Amen. Saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the church will I sing praises unto them. And so our church this morning is a place where that we can sing praises unto God. Amen. And listen, this morning, people, uh, I... I, I feel I feel so good sometimes when they're singing songs of praise to God because listen, I think I draw just as close to them that way as I do any other way. And we 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 need to we need to praise the Lord in song. We need to praise the Lord in testifying. We need to praise the Lord in all the things that we do because uh, He is all in all. Mm -hmm. Amen. So here again in verse thirteen. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I am the children which God hath given me. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. Amen. He come here in the flesh, that through death he might destroy him that had power of death. That is the devil. And so... 15, and delivered them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Wherefore, in all these things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and a faithful high priest Amen. pertaining to God to make reconciliation for the sins of the people, for in for in that he himself has suffered, being tempted, he is able to secure them that are tempted. Amen. And so uh, I, I'm 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 about about through reading, but listen, this and and I, I know it's a lot of reading, but the thing of it is, we need to hear this every once mm -hmm. in a while. Amen. We need to hear. Uh, how great God is and how great our Savior is and, and kind of regenerate us a little bit and keep us from slipping because we don't want to slip. I mean, and I'm not saying fall from grace, but listen, we can fall. We can get in a condition before that we don't want the Holy Spirit to come in. We can, we can get to the condition without falling or without losing our salvation. We can get in a condition where that's not comfortable to us. Amen. And uh, sometimes it takes her hide and all, uh, you know, in, in, in that. So here, wherefore, my brethren, verse 3, wherefore, my brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Jesus Christ, who was faithful to him that appointed him, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, Amen. inasmuch as he who had built the house had more honor than the house. For every house is built by some man, but he that buildeth all things is God. Amen. And so, and Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were spoken, were to be spoken after. But Christ as a son over his own house, whose house we are, if we hold fast, or uh, uh, he that in and, and the Bible says there, and, and this hold fast, he that endures to the end shall 
uh, um, he that endures to the end shall be saved. But he says here, we are, if we hold fast the confidence and rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Therefore, wherefore, as the Holy Ghost said today, if you will hear this voice, <coughs> harden not your hearts as in the day of provocation, in the day of temptation, in the, in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty years, wherefore I was grieved with the generation who said, they do always err in their hearts, and they have not known my way. And listen, people, we are, we've got the same flesh that they had, we've got the same blood running in our veins that they had, and listen, this is, this is for us, this is a warning for us this morning not to slip. And he says, so, in verse 11, so I swear in my wrath they shall not enter into my rest. Amen. Take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. And so this morning, he asked us to exhort one another, comfort one another, uh, and, and tell one another uh, the experiences we have, the, 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 the love that we have in our heart and all this. Exhort one another, encourage one another. And, and I know, like I say, uh, uh, it's, it's a lot of reading, but the thing of it is, it's, it's needful. If it, it's needful, and you can take you can take what I say for it. It's needful this morning because listen, we all we all get in a chance, uh, uh, sometime a condition that we shouldn't be in. We get in a condition of nearly slipping, and so I, I've got one more little bit I'm going to read to you. For we are are made partakers of Christ. In verse fourteen. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. While it is said today, if thou wilt hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation or the rebellion. For some, when they had heard, did provoke, howbeit not all that came out of Egypt by Moses, but with whom was he grieved forty years? Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcass fell in the wilderness? And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believe not. So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Amen. That's our lesson this morning. Uh, and I think this morning that uh, if we would take this word here and read it real close and pray about it and ask the Lord to help us with these things, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it will draw you closer to the Lord because I've been reading it three days and uh, I still I still I still felt like that the Lord would have us to read this this morning so y'all pray for the lessons from time to time pray for me about it I'll follow the leadership of the Lord and sometimes you know I think well Lord that can't be what you want me to do but listen it's what I felt he wanted us to, to, to hear this morning Amen. And so Y'all pray about the situation and, and thank the Lord for the word that I've read this morning. Thank Amen. you. Amen.